I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five things to know about web shells. Recently, the US FBI was given court authorization to delete web shells from Microsoft Exchange servers. Web shells are a rising menace. They let attackers hide an entry point in your network that's hard to get rid of. And you don't generally let the FBI go scanning for web shells if it's an easy fix. So why all the angst? Here are five things to know about web shells. Number one, their use is accelerating. According to Microsoft, the average number of web shells installed from August 2020 to January 2021 was 144,000. That's about double the same period between 2019 and 2020. Coming in at number two, you can write one in almost any web programming language. Web shells are written in PHP, JSP, and ASP, among others, and they're easy to slip in if there's a vulnerability in any web app or internet-facing server. The attacker can find it with Wireshark or by doing a Shodan search. One example was an image that, when requested by a web client, executed code server-side to install a shell. Up to number three, the web shells are easy to use once you install them. The command interfaces are instantly usable from any browser, even on a phone. Sliding into number four, they let an attacker do anything a legitimate administrator can do. You can use a web shell to run commands, execute code, anything from crypto mining to malware, and collect system information that can enable lateral movement within the network. At number five, they're hard to detect. Because they use the language of the web, it's easy to hide commands inside normal exchanges with a website. Patching a vulnerability also doesn't get rid of a web shell. If you don't delete it, it remains as a persistent backdoor into your network. So how do you stop them? All the usual methods apply. Firewalls, log audits, credential hygiene, network segmentation, and patch, patch, patch. The US NSA offers tools for detection and removal on GitHub as well. There's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.